If you have a fenced-in backyard and you live in the Portland metro area, <laughs> leave a comment below if you want a goat. They need to have a friend, so you need to have two. Uh, I only have one, so, but, yeah. Think you're going to have a problem letting Stormtrooper go? Yeah. I've tried not to hug on him as much as I do Sienna. But he's pretty cute. And he likes to be hugged and yeah. sit in your lap and get snuggles. Also be very sad to see Stormtrooper go to a new home when that time comes. We just don't have the space to keep all of the baby goats that we're intending to breed out here. Hopefully this video isn't too upsetting. We're banding Stormtrooper and tattooing Sienna. These are painful procedures for the goats. We don't want to show our goats in pain, so the video will cut around those parts. If you're curious, how little Stormtrooper reacted to having the blood supply to his balls cut off by a tight rubber band. That intro segment that I just played with the goats around the stump was shot just shortly after we did that procedure. Sienna's discomfort with the ear tattooing passed very quickly. We're also going to be giving several of our goats some vitamins and minerals, and they need some shots too. Goats can be uncooperative about these sort of things which can make for some humorous video so we're putting copper pills with peanut butter it's okay yeah it tastes it's good. okay you like it open up bigger stormtrooper. Not too big to be a lap goat though. It's time to get a shot. You did pretty well with it last time so I'm not too too worried about it. You shouldn't be either. Yep. Shave, shave him first or? Well, I just want to be able to see it because it can have like a little abscess. Okay, it's all right. It's okay. It's okay, Stormtrooper. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. I got you. You gotta be careful or he's gonna kick. It's 
All right. There you go. Good job. Now we got it kind of squeezes him, him so that he can't kick me. Okay, we got him. In fact, I can grab his legs a little bit. <laughs> now you're kind of okay. Okay, I'll grab the legs. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry, Stormtrooper. Yeah. I'm sorry what we're gonna do to you. Yeah. It's about to be Alright, you did good. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. We thought it was gonna be worse. Oh, yes we did. Yes we did. You thought it was going to be worse, but you did pretty good. Yes. You did pretty good. Indigo needs another shot. She when... hasn't had a shot yet. Okay. Indigo just needs a shot. <laughs> and Wendy's trying to check to see if she might be pregnant. Shave too. No, her hair's pretty short. Strategically give her some food. Right, right before? It. Yeah. eating around it so far. Did 
<laughs> Not yet. Eat the rest of it. Good job. Good girl. Yeah, see, this is what she did last time, too. Is I put it in there and then she just licked the bowl clean. That was a good way to do it. So you can either fight her or you can just deal with how she actually is. Yeah, Valkyrie has lots of practice with the milk stand now. Goat, but she's feisty. She's very feisty. She's, she's getting her face out of the way in that cup. Come on. Come on. Okay. 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 Yeah, it's peanut butter. Okay. Oh, shit. She always does. <laughs> if the goats chew the pill rather than swallowing it, it just doesn't have the same long-lasting benefit. You're just bad. Messy goat. You know that? Oh, 
all that work for a treat. too strong. It seems like once I get them kind of in there, then they'll eat them. She could just be kind of upset now. Okay, let's just leave her alone. She's so fuzzy. <laughs> obvious <laughs> but enough that I can see it then well you're a fuzzy wuzzy don't don't yell at me yeah good job bro we just banded Stormtrooper. He is naturally not feeling very well. He's not going to be a breeding buck. He'll just be a weather, so he'll only be a companion goat. He'll feel better pretty soon, though. Yeah, are you worried about the bubba? Huh? You worried about your bubba? Come on, she shit. Why is he dead? It's okay. It's okay. You'll be okay. We're going to register Sienna with the American Dairy Goat Association. So that means we're going to have to tattoo her ear. This will be the first time we've done that. Sienna's still a small goat, very easy to control. So hopefully this will go pretty smooth. Before we do the tattoo, Sienna has to get her shots first. Carper bolus too. We'll do the carper bolus first. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. <laughs> now you've got peanut butter mustache. Yeah. Okay. This is as bad as her mummy. Did she chew it up and not swallow yes. it? Yes. So silly. Here. There's more. Okay. <laughs> She's just spitting that out all over the place. As long as some of it gets in, huh? It's okay, little orange face. Oh, covered with peanut butter and yucky selenium. <laughs> yeah. Poor babies. He's okay. Okay, Sienna. 
Okay. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, it's okay. I'm gonna rub this spot right here. They're probably filthy. Hmm. Yeah. Or you could stand and have his ears clean too. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Preferably not with the same wipe, Wendy. <laughs> So this will be the right ear. Yes. That's for our Heard. IV Acres Homestead IAH. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, Sienna. Looks like you got it. Yep. Yeah. Such a good girl. <laughs> She's so good. Yeah. So good. A good girl. Like your green ears? But oh, come back here. It's okay. One more ear to go. So the left ear is going to have N1. Yes. N stands for 2021. And one because Sienna was the very first goat born here. Really close oh, this time. You don't want to have to delineate it last. Oh, it's okay, Sienna. You've got green all over yourself now. It's okay. It's okay. Just a little pain. Yeah. And make you green. It's okay. <coughs> Don't rub your ears all over Stormtrooper. <laughs> He's gonna be green. You're gonna do that, aren't you? Because you're that kind of goat. No social distancing. Come to mama. Yeah. Oh, You're all done. Yes. Your torture wasn't nearly as bad as your brother. It wasn't nearly so bad. Because you're a special girl who gets the steak. Uh-oh, she's got green face. <laughs> you're okay, baby. See mama. Indigo, nobody wants you. Come on. Don't get green paint all over mommy's udder. <laughs> I'm thinking about whether I should just leave her with them tonight so should they feel a little better. Yeah. Especially Stormtrooper. So Stormtrooper is in pain. How long is that supposed to last? Hopefully just today. And then it'll be a little better tomorrow and a little better the next day. I might give him some, um, have some baby Tylenol stuff. Well, he's interested in the hay. I can see him trying to get in there. He's trying to get 
away from you. <laughs> Is that a big enough bite? Xander's not looking too upset. Her little ear job. Poor little guy. I wish he wasn't so shaky. It just helps them to, they don't have as many hormones, so they're not going to be mounting other goats and getting all ready and, and stuff like that. They won't go through a rut because they won't have those hormones. But mostly it's just about making them the difference between a breeding goat and a not breeding goat. He'll be a pet. So if somebody wants to have one dairy goat and needs another goat to be their friend, you know, because a lot of the times, you know, something will happen to one goat and somebody needs to get the other goat a companion. So these are good for that or um, sometimes people will have them just to keep their backyard mowed. You know, because they like having a couple goats back there as pets. They're fun. They're cute. But, whatever. They're just a little cute goat. So, if you have a fenced-in backyard and you live in the Portland metro area, <laughs> leave a comment below if you want a goat. They need to have a friend, so you need to have two. I only have one. So, but... Think you're gonna have a problem letting Stormtrooper go? Yeah. I've tried not to hug on him as much as I do Sienna. But he's pretty cute. And he likes to be hugged and yeah. sit in your lap and get snuggles. Except when he's had a procedure, then he's not very happy. Hi, baby. Oh, is she grumpy? <laughs> now, part of the idea of having goats was, you know, not just milk for us, but also some revenue by selling the the baby Hi. goats. Hi. How much do you think we would charge for Stormtrooper? Hundred dollars. That's that seems pretty reasonable. Yeah. Yep. Now, when we were buying um, Striker and Lightning, uh, they were breeding goats, so obviously, yeah. and obviously they registered goats. They were goats. quite a bit more expensive. Yeah. yeah. Was a good buck is, is expensive, so you want to get the most you can afford. Yeah. And I wanted to afford two bucks, so I was getting, spending quite a lot of money on bucks. But they're good, good goats, so I'm happy with both of them. So some folks might be wondering, well, if a breeding buck is worth so much more, why not just keep Stormtrooper intact and mm -hmm. sell him as a breeding buck? Well, this is the first year we've had Valkyrie for her kidding and things like that, and... I want to see how well she does and also see how well Sienna does in particular before I would say. So if I'm planning my breeding for next year, I would probably want to, it's going to take a full year even still, probably another cycle of breeding with Valkyrie. So if she has a buck again next time, we're probably gonna do the same thing because what I want to see is how good of a milk goat we've made with Sienna with our breeding of her and the the buck. And so then I kind of get an idea of, of how we did. And since we have two bucks, my thought is to maybe even next year breed her with the other buck and 
then we, if she has girls again, we have two girls to kind of compare to. Obviously, I'm not going to keep that many goats <laughs> as all those goats that it would make between her and Rogue and, and Indigo. So some of them I'll just have to keep track of how they're doing based on what's going on. You're so silly. What are you saying hi? You're giving me nice goaty belches in my face. Hmm. <laughs> He's just such a snuggler. I you. He's just a snuggler. You big cute girl. Yeah. She is a very good goat from a temperament standpoint. I just want to see more about how well she performs. Because I'm frankly not getting a lot of milk out of her compared to what I think I should be getting. Mm -hmm. I'm expecting to get more out of Rogue. So if I do get more out of Rogue, I feel more confident saying these goats, you know, I would want to sell to somebody else, which is one of the reasons I'm keeping Sienna, because then I can see a little bit more how my breeding is going, not just Hey, Rogue's a good goat. She produces a lot of milk. Let's sell her offspring. So I, I probably wouldn't sell any of the bucks still because I want to see a little more how they, how the, the see. goat production, the the dairy production is for milk. But so you're thinking about actually selling Rogue? No, I'm thinking about selling Rogue's. Children. Okay. That was... Like like does. I thought it was important to keep one off of Valkyrie first because she she's not producing as much milk as I'd like. So that way we'll be able to see with her if our if we're breeding more milk characteristics into her and still having nice, sweet, pretty goats. She is very sweet. So what's more important to you? The sweetness, the pretty markings, or just uh, good proven milk lines? Well, it depends on what you're asking. If you're asking about what I enjoy, I like having pretty and, and good goats that love me. Most especially the... Uh, sweet lovey little goats, yes. But if I'm talking about the business side of it where we have to sell animals, then I need to focus more on the dairy production aspect of it and make sure that I'm breeding for good characteristics. So um, if we find out that Sienna isn't producing very good milk, and then maybe I shouldn't be breeding Valkyrie. So, but she will always be here because she's my girl. Yes. Would one goat um, be a good test for that, or would you need to? Would it be better to have a couple of does to compare? Well, that's why I'm saying I would like to be able to to see if. So, so say, say these goats, I still need to do the genetics on them, but I, I'm, if, if this is a lightning breeding with Valkyrie, then I would like to see how, also what it is with, um, Striker, because they're, they're completely different genetic lines, and so. Yeah. Possibly different characteristics. Yep, yep. Yeah, and what I can do is in, you know, a year and a half or whatever, however long I have to, I haven't checked how long it will be before I would breed um, Sienna, I could breed her to the other boy and then we would see even further how well we do if we were to see that girl grow up, so. Yep. Pretties. She's such a silly. But if Sienna turned out to be not a good milker, would you still 
want to keep her or would you want to possibly sell her? Well, then it would be a matter of what her offspring are doing. The same, so I would have the same questions with her that I do with Valkyrie. Although, at that point, I probably wouldn't want to breed her further. Just, you know, because it's maybe not such a good business decision to breed her further. So, I don't know. I, I would have to... That's a long ways in the future, Brian, so I would have to figure out what I want to do. Yep. Come here, Bubba. She says, I don't understand why these people are in here if they aren't wanting to love on me. Because I'm just beautiful. <laughs> what? Are you guys in here to see me? Are they in here to see me? Pretty girl. Yeah, she's such a pretty girl. 